a source of sound attached to a rope. Then you swing it round and round and round in a horizontal circle. Woo, woo. And the source moves with a speed of 12 meters per second and emit a sound of frequency 951 hertz. Speed of sound in air is this. Well, okay, so there's a lot of information here and this looks like a Doppler effect question because you have something that makes a noise and it's swinging round and round. So you can kind of start off by marking out that this speed of sound, uh, sorry, the speed of source is Vs. And it's moving, well, you can consider that as what we call tangential speed. So at this point, it's traveling a certain speed. If it's at another point here, tangent to the circle. From the top view, it looks like this. Uh. If you are here, you are traveling with this speed. That's why it's referring to speed. Then your source frequency is this, Fs. Speed of sound in air, we call just V. And we want to find what? The minimum frequency to 3SF. Oh, wow, very specific. 3SF, please remember when you write answer. Uh, the sound heard by the observer. So the person standing here will hear a very interesting pattern. If you look in the past year, there are quite some questions that ask about this circular motion Doppler effect. But let's see how to find minimum frequency. So when does minimum frequency occur? Uh? If we draw out the path taken by this swinging thing, it looks like that. Actually, no, let's, let's draw it up there. Uh, somewhere here, yeah. So the, the path taken, let's see from the top view, it looks like a circle. <laughs> kind of a circle, top view. And at some point, the object will be down here, moving towards the person like exactly towards with a certain speed. Now this is when you will hear the maximum frequency. Why? Because the wave is coming up. Uh. Wave get compressed in front, okay, when you're moving. So on the right side where the person is listening from, the waves are very close together, high frequency, F max. Now the other point is when it's over here and moving in this direction with the same speed, now that's when the wave is also going to clump up and bunch together a lot. And that will be where the highest frequency, sorry, the lowest frequency is heard. By the observer. Okay, I'm, I'm, this is where, by the observer. Ah. Okay, if it means what about in between, what about if it's here or here? Okay, that one, yeah, kind of moving at a weird angle already. So it's not exactly towards or away. So down here, you're moving towards. They are moving towards each other, the other one is moving away. So we only stick to that for A-level syllabus. Huh? If you want to go further, sure, go and check it out. So minimum will be here, where it is moving away from us. Okay, so let's apply the Doppler effect equation here. Doppler effect. The equation is given on every formula sheet, data formula sheet, but you could write it out, kind of like the one that I like here as well. FO over FS is a ratio over their speeds. V, V plus minus VS. But here, you want to look for minimum frequency, so you have to look for when it's moving towards you. Eh? No, 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 no. Away from you. Ah. It will be lower. That's where we go. F minimum. So, apply the values. What were you here? Don't know. F0. Ah. Source is giving out 951 hertz, given to us. Speed of sound, 330. Speed of sound, 330. Now, if you're moving... Away from you, you add add the speed of 12. How do I know? Uh? Because if you're moving away, it should be a lower frequency that I hear. So this should be lower compared to uh, the source frequency. Lower compared to 951. Which means this ratio here should be smaller compared to the denominator. Is that correct? Is 330 smaller than 330 plus 12? Yes, it is. So correct. Okay, now we can calculate. So your final answer here, you will get a 918 hertz. The tricky part is choosing the whether positive or negative sign. Now you can write 918 and you want 3 SF. So you write 918. That's your answer. Okay, one mark here. One mark if you substitute in the correct Doppler equation. Whether plus, uh, you must have your plus, la. add together and correct values. Okay, that's the Doppler.
So, ooh, the circular path has a radius of 2.4 meter. Okay, let's draw it again. From here, 2.4 is the radius. 2.4. Determine the shortest time interval between hearing minimum frequency and maximum frequency. Wow. Wow. This is a good question. So you at you know the max and mean are at either points. Let's say here is where you hear a maximum frequency. When you're up at this point, that's when you hear a minimum frequency. So what's the shortest time between you hear max and go to mean? Well, the shortest time would occur... Okay, let's say you are down here, you hear maximum already. You start timer. Then the object will move to here and then reach here and you stop timer. Now, all along this path, speed is constant. So I can kind of unwrap this highlighter section and treat it like a, a, a kind of like a horizontal thing. <laughs> so this, this path taken, I'm going to use orange. Path is a semicircle. Distance travel. And this is half of 2 pi r, which is just pi r. Lah. So this distance is pi r. How long does it take for this object to travel this distance? We know the speed. Speed is given to us is traveling at the constant speed of acceleration. Ah, no acceleration, right? Constant speed of 12 meter per second. So we can say here that you can treat it like kinematics. And this is 12 meter per second. So how long does it take to travel this distance in this speed? That's your time. So we use our stuva, lah, our s equals to ut plus half at square, except that there is no acceleration. So we don't need to include that part. So it's just distance equals to velocity times time, or s or distance, ah, distance travel. Because now we're thinking of a circular path. So distance will be pi r equals to velocity times time. So pi times radius equals to 12 meter per second times t. This one should give you a time of 0 0.6283 or 0 0.63. That is how long it will take for you to hear maximum and go until minimum. But you are traveling in half a circle in distance. Okay, so one mark is for there. The other one is if you knew this equation to sub in what is the distance especially. Then that's your other mark. So if you look at the past year, there's one MCQ question that actually shows you a graph of how the velocity, sorry, the frequency is changing. So it's it's quite interesting. Huh? If you haven't seen this past year, go and check out some MCQs for Doppler effect, especially the topical ones. I think some of it is here already in the video somewhere. But it will look generally like this. Yeah, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum. The velocity, uh, I mean... The, the thing is moving in circles, so sometimes you will hear maximum, sometimes you will hear f min, which is down here. And you're finding the time taken. So from, let's say, max minimum to maximum, this time taken. Half a cycle. Mm, can use some circular wave kind of idea already. But anyway, that's all for this question. Lah. Short and sweet, Doppler motion. Uh, I think they just basically took a MCQ and turn it into a structure question. Make sure you know the equations, how to apply, especially for circular motion. Go check out the video if you haven't. All right, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.